Now, there's a third group. There are more groups, but I'm only talking about three groups. So the third group, I will say, is Muslims with harsh views. So what happens is somebody was seeking and they found online somebody who's teaching Islam. When they listened to them, they said, this is the right Islam. This person has the right aqidah. This person has the right understanding of Sharia. They have the right understanding of Sunnah. So they give their complete trust to this, the person they're following, this influencer online, the Shaykh online, whoever, or a group. And then they developed a view that this is the right way and everybody else is wrong. Everybody else is going to Jahannam. These are the only people that are saved on every single issue. So it could be like, for example, they develop an idea about how long the beard should be. For example, right? Now, if somebody doesn't fit their definition of the length of the beard, they are hatab jahannam. They are made for, you know, this is a inkaru sunnah, this is tariku sunnah, this is wajib al-darb, something. Like, they're going to develop those harsh, harsh, harsh views. Their views could be about the rights of the wife. There could be about the beard. It could be about clothing. It could be about the definition of halal and haram. It could be anything. But they start developing very, very harsh views. And because they develop harsh views, these people are not fun to live with. So they develop a lot of problems in their family and among their friends. They become more and more isolated, okay? Because their family sees them as too extreme. So now I've given you three groups of people.